Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a holiday haul because I am going to Ibiza this week, only for a few days, but I wanted to show you what I'm taking with me. Um, and it is quite a lot for a short break, but we always overpack. So there are loads of different brands featured in this haul, so I'm just gonna crack on and get started. Um, I have tried quite a few pieces on as well, just to show you what they look like um, and how I'd wear them, so yes. So first off we have this Bardo crop top from New Look. Um, it's from the Cameo Rose section, and it's got fluted sleeves, flare sleeves, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, this was my first pick because I just think it's perfect to take away when you've got a tan. Um, I'd probably wear this with jeans or like denim shorts or something. And it was 14 99 which I thought was really good. So yeah, this was one of my favorite like buys. I never normally buy anything from the Cameo Row section, but I saw this and loved it, so um, I had to get it. Then I also bought um, this really cute off the shoulder top, ribbed crop top, and these really like this is something a bit different for me i don't normally wear like like baggy trousers or like clots or anything um these aren't really that long on me so it's quite nice um these aren't really that short on me so i can get away with it but these are the floral pink crop trousers in a size eight and then i got the crop to go with it and i really like these two together i just would probably even wear this like you could probably get away wearing this on the plane as well actually because it's so comfy the trousers are really comfy uh, but I'm going to take this to Ibiza and wear it just like out in the evenings or out for lunch um, with a pair of flip-flops or wedges, haven't quite decided yet. But yeah, the trousers were $22.99 and the top was only $7.99, which I thought for a bardo top is really, really good. So yeah, that's really cute and it also white also makes you look really brown, so you can't really go wrong. Um, really girly, they are a little bit see-through, so you will have to wear nude, nude underwear with that. Um, but that's fine because you're on holiday anyway, so. Excuse me, I'm just getting a little bit carried away with my holiday here. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna wear that with this coloured underwear. Don't even know why I'd wanna know that. But anyway, yeah, they are a little bit see-through, so it is best to go with like paler, I'd say nude, skin coloured underwear. Anyway, that was like another favourite outfit, probably my second favourite outfit. Then next up we have this white shirt dress from Primark. So it looks really, really plain and boring, and um, when you put it on it's so much nicer, but I'm not going to try it on in this video because I'm going to be uploading loads of photos when I'm away, so I'm going to um, upload what, it this week on my Instagram. But this is the dress. So it's just a shirt dress with a brown belt that just tucks in, ties in at the waist. Um, so I got this in a size 10 and it was £12 and I just thought it is a little bit see-through so I'm probably going to wear my bikini underneath it but it's so nice for daytime and I just thought it would be nice to just chuck on if we're like going for lunch or something. So again there had to be something from Primark but there is only that this time but yeah that's one of my new fave little shirt dresses. Now if you follow me on Instagram you know I have an obsession with Adidas leggings. Um, it was my airport outfit when I went to Malaga a few weeks ago. So I went into Urban Outfitters and bought another pair just because you can never have too many and then I got the crop to go with it so this is like my kind of airport outfit should we say so the leggings were £28 and the top was 25 so I've got the leggings in a size 8 and the top in a size 10 I just I'm loving comfy clothes at the moment still literally they're my favourite so I think especially when you're travelling like even if it's only a two hour flight you want to be comfortable so I just wear that with my sliders and then probably a hoodie or something because um, when we come home it'll obviously be cold over here. So yeah, I got these two and I'll try them on just so you can see what they look like together. Then next up we have Miss Pap which as you know is one of my favourite brands. Um, so first of all I got this white ripped denim skirt to take away with me. Um, I got this in a size, I can't remember what size it was, a size 10. Um, and I just love denim skirts at the moment and I've, this is my first white one, I've never actually had a white one before and I just love the ripped detail so yeah, I got the white skirt and then to go with it I got this pink ruffled shirt with ruffled sleeves um, it is a little bit long so um, I obviously bought it to tuck into the skirt so I got this in a size 10 I believe oh, a size small to medium which is an 8 to 10 um, so yeah, I love the colours and something that I normally wouldn't wear like put together but I really liked it so I just thought oh, I'm going to pair them together um, and I've tried it on for you to see so yeah, I got this to go with it. So these two are quite a nice combo if you're going out for dinner in the evening. You can either wear heels or sandals depending on like what you're wearing it for. But yeah, I'd probably wear this over here as well because I just think it's a really nice outfit. Also with Miss Pap, you can save 10% um, using the code Lauren Ellis 10 but I'll link everything below anyway. So yeah, that's those two. And then the heels I got to go with it are on another level. So my obsession for rose gold is growing even more after getting these beauts to take with me. So they are rose gold studded heels from Miss Pap and they've got like gold detail all along the strap which I think you'll be able to see um, I just love them I'm not normally like the biggest wearer of like 
stilettos really. Normally I wear like wedges or something on holiday, but I literally love these and they go really nice with the outfit. So again, got these in a size five, um, so I didn't like need to go up or down a size. I know that some brands you do, but these ones I didn't. So yeah, and I think they go with quite a lot of stuff. Um, obviously I paired it with that, but you could wear these like with anything basically. Rose gold's quite versatile to an extent. So these are my new favorite heels and it takes me a lot to find a new favorite pair of heels because I find it quite difficult to walk in them, but these are actually surprisingly easy. So I will link these below as well. Then next up, I'm gonna go on to Pretty Little Thing, which by the way, I have a 20% discount code um, with them at the moment, so I'll put that below for you if any of you fancy some shopping. So <laughs> you're probably gonna kill me because I've got two bikinis again, which I said in my last video I was not gonna have. I actually think, I'm not even exaggerating, I think I've got about 20 bikinis for this year now, it's actually getting a bit ridiculous. But anyway, I will show you what I got. So first of all, we have this red high leg bikini, which I'm not gonna lie, doesn't leave much to the imagination from behind. Quite skimpy, but I did love it. And then it's got a bandeau top to go with it, which again is quite small, but it's perfect for not getting any tan lines. So this is the front, so it's got that little bow detail, and these are the bottoms. So I'll be wearing these with like a nice cover up um, that I actually got from eBay, um, which I will upload on my, well actually it's already, there's already some photos of it on my Instagram because my friend Charlotte had it, and then I got the link and ordered it, so. Yeah, there's some photos of it on my Instagram already, but I'll put one on there with me wearing it with this um, this week, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, that is probably one of my favourite bikinis and minimal tan lines, which is obviously quite important for us. Next up, you've probably seen this because a lot of girls have it and it's actually, like, a lot of it is sometimes sold out um, because it's quite high in demand. But this is the strap bikini top, which is like kind of like bandage material, so it's whole to neck. I got this in a size 8, so I went down a size because the back... Um, it's really stretchy and to be honest I like the eight is still a little bit too big around my boobs and I haven't like haven't actually got small boobs they're just like normal so maybe you'd want to go down a size or two even um, so yeah that's the top and then this is the bottoms I believe they're 12 99 each so you buy them separately so which is good because I got the top in a size 8 and these bottoms which go right up the waist in a size 10. I would say it's tricky because the bottoms are kind of loose around my stomach area but around my hips size they're um, not so you yeah it's a bit difficult sometimes with sizing but I literally love these and like I say um, I'll link everything below anyway but yeah I think it's safe to say I've covered for bikinis I'd probably wear this one not sunbathing I'd probably just wear it like if I was going to like a pool party or something or for show like not really sunbathing in because the tan lines would be awful um, but I really like that and next up we have I don't know if you've noticed but I'm loving kind of like orangey reds at the moment so next up we have this bandeau top with the little cutout sides again pretty little thing I got this in a size 10 but to be honest it's actually a little bit tight for me so I probably could have got a 12 but yeah it's really cute perfect for summer I could wear this with the white denim skirt from Miss Pat or just jeans denim shorts anything really but I just really like it and again I think it's perfect for Ibiza with a tan I'll be loving life so yes I got that one um, I also have them in um, nude and black as well so they do quite a lot of colours um, so there's definitely one like to suit you if that makes sense. Then I also got some jewellery because you've got to accessorise, especially like with your bikinis and stuff in Ibiza. So um, I love wearing dangly earrings or hoops with my bikinis. Um, I just think it adds a little bit more detail. So I got these cross hoop earrings, um, well like hoop detail earrings um, from Pretty Little Thing. I just thought they were really cute. Yeah, I just think dramatic earrings are like everywhere at the moment. So I'm happy with these. And then I also paired them up with the Cameo Rose Top. Um, I just thought they looked quite nice together and it added a bit more detail. Then I also got this necklace which I just thought was really pretty um, and I paired this up with the orange top. Pretty little thing also. So yeah, it's a bit tangled at the moment. I don't know what I've done to it. Typical Lauren. Does a trial and then go, comes to film the video and gets it all tangled up. There we go. I'm a girl of many talents. I've fixed it. So yeah, this is a really nice necklace. You can either wear it really high up so it's kind of a bit more chokery or you can wear it on the loosest which is what I did. Um, where it dangles down a little bit more. So yeah, I thought that was really cute, and again, you can wear that with basically anything, really. Admittedly, I did try originally putting this on with the earrings and the orange top, and the earrings were too much for that outfit, so I'd only go for kind of one or the other, really. But it's personal preference. Next up, we have a dress that I'm kind of obsessed with. Um, so I, bought, I wore this dress in Malaga a few weeks ago, and I had it in red, and then I went into Urban Outfitters at the weekend, and they had it in white, so I was like, yes. So it's this one. Um, so it's £39, it's a really nice bodycon dress, um, obviously off the shoulder, and I got this in a size medium, which is perfect for me, if you're a size kind of like 10 I'd say medium. 
so yeah it's really nice and I did try it on with some nude wedges um, but you can obviously, it depends what you want to work with, but that is definitely going to be my Ibiza outfit, so there'll be a million photos in that really. So yeah, that's probably my favourite item that I bought. So there's one last accessory that I think is essential for a holiday, or for me anyway. I don't know, you probably can't tell, but I've just had my hair um, a little bit lighter, so um, I've got more blonde in my hair now, and when I go away I don't want it to go like straw. So, well, speaking of straw, so I've bought a straw hat. Anyway, I went into TK Maxx with this hat and was like, I love it. This is my little sun hat. Like, you're probably all pissing yourselves, but I tell you, these are like essential for a holiday, and obviously when you've got sunglasses on and everything like that, they look quite classy, but yeah, around the pool I'd obviously wear like a baseball cap or something, but I think this is quite nice if you want to look a bit, like, if you're going out for lunch or something and you're walking around and you want a bit more protection, then I'd probably say these. I feel a bit like, I don't know how I feel in this, but it's going to protect my hair, and it's not like the most awful hat in the world, so, so obviously you can like fiddle around with them depending on how you want them. Normally I like tuck a bit down so it actually doesn't look like I'm going to a wedding and it actually looks like I'm on the beach. But yeah, it was only £7 so I thought it's just going to protect my hair and protect my skin and if you saw my skin cancer post on my blog you will know why I'm finding it really important to protect my skin at the moment and yeah, so this is to protect my face and of course my hair. But anyway, I'll take it off now. Oh, hat hair. Sorry, hat hair is the worst for me. But yeah, um, keep an eye on my Instagram for all my Ibiza photos because some of these um, outfits will be featured on there. But yeah, if you would like me to film anything else in particular or you have any questions about anything, sizing, etc., just ask. Also, don't forget uh, my Miss Pap and Pretty Little Thing discount codes. I will link below for you. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in another video soon.